You have been mocking him all night. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. You will see today that the Quranic argument will suffocate you. It will suffocate you. You have done a shameful service today for the, for the Christians. You have not defended Christianity today. You should have brought James White with you or someone like that. Seriously, you should have brought someone who could have helped you. Man, you should have brought someone with you. Seriously, what's going on here? We want to make sure we don't go outside of the outline of Tawheed and Trinity. We're going to keep it within the guideline. Guide Accumulating more than 50 million, 60 million channel views attacking Muslims in Islam, which has led to brothers and sisters of mine being attacked on roads in this country, exacerbating Islamophobia. This man is not going to get with nice treatment from me. He's not going to get it. This guy is not James White. This guy is not William Lane Craig. This guy is not respectable. So he will not be treated with respect. If anyone oversteps, I will cut them off. Okay, this goes for both speakers. And each speaker will get three warnings. After the three warnings, we will, if you have, let's say you're in your eight minute rebuttal and you've had your third warning, we're gonna cut off that eight minute rebuttal. That's it, there's not gonna be any continuation. Please, please refrain from verbal cheering. Clapping is sufficient enough, and we'd just like to remind both speakers to stay on topic and be respectful towards the other speakers. If it was James White, I would have shown him the utmost respect. If it was William Lane Craig, I would have shown him the utmost respect. If it was any of those guys, I would have shown them the utmost respect. But this man, no, no, no. No, no, no. Read the Bible. I will teach you the Bible today. Mr. Pick Hajab, please stay on topic. Okay, no problem. <laughs> I want to give you one piece of advice. Sorry, I'm just making comment. Now, just because your boy was smashed, to use Khabib's words, it doesn't mean now that you're, you're going to give me a. Uh, right. Can yes. you please settle down? Please settle yes. down. Yes. So that's that's the guidelines that we're going to be putting out. This is a lie. Everything understood? You have lied. All good. Good man. You can shake hands if you want. Sure. All right. Sure. Uh, so, uh, We're seeking to host a respectful and friendly dialogue. I hope you have understood this now, and if you don't, I think you should blame your intellect. Clapping is sufficient. We don't want any verbal cheering or something like that. You're a hypocrite. You miss are a hypocrite. Okay. Get the next question. Okay, Mr. Hijab. Okay. I, I want to... I want to end this... This is a very, uh, this is a very educational debate. Here you're being educated. Christians. This is what Allah says in the Quran. Clapping is sufficient. I think David Wood has said some career ending embarrassing statements today. I mean, to be honest with you. And you wouldn't know about Hebrew because look, I, I, I think not only do you not know Arabic, but you don't know Hebrew. And I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen. I knew I was going to have to give you a free Arabic lesson here today. I knew it. And that's why the translators put four, not to the Prophet. You don't know what the, the words in Arabic mean. Don't hear, speak salah. Come on, please, don't embarrass yourself. It's okay. Well, if you think spitting on someone makes you a god, well, that's what it implies. And I wonder why you look at every other verse of the Bible as implying that Jesus was God. Because for you, a spit, that's, that's making me a god now. <laughs> Don't embarrass yourself in front of me. You're all over the place. You're fumbling all over the place. It's embarrassing. I have a, a, admitted defeat. Therefore, I'm going down. I'm going down. I'm going to try and take you down with me. I know by the look of your face here, you would probably agree with me. Let's be honest. Look at his face. Everyone, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> take a look at his face. I've got a few minutes left. Let me recite some Quran because I've done with this guy. I've always wanted to do this, yeah? To take a word from Dwayne, the, the Rock Johnson. It doesn't matter what you think. It doesn't matter what you think. <laughs> I mean... Well, don't tell me about the Arabic language. You ask me about Arabic language in this, in this forum. You ask me, you don't tell me, you ask. Come on, man, don't waste my time with this. 
He says, listen, I will help you, I will help you. It me, idafa means, actually I'm not going to go into it, to be honest with you. Idafa, is a, go to a basic Arabic uh, uh, you know, textbook. What is mudaf? Mudaf is the first thing the Arab students learn. Let's not waste my time with this, please. You've come here, 20 years of research, and this is what you pre present. Don't waste because my time. like today, you will be shown the truth in a very harsh manner. You'll be shown the truth in a very, very embarrassing manner. Don't tell me it wasn't spread by the sword. Don't tell me it wasn't spread by the sword. What are you talking about? The difference between Islam and Christianity in this regard was that Islam spread organically, whereas Christianity required a man who was an empire at that time to spread it forcefully. We fought, as Muslims, the bigger enemy. You were the bigger enemy fighting the smaller people. That's the difference. Don't tell me about these things. This is a, don't misread history. which I'm not even sure is correct, uh, but usually we would, we would explain this in terms of... <laughs> Give me the easier one here. Hey, 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 you're interfering with my time here. It does not differ in its theological essentials from a is religion. Is this a question or is it a... Uh, sorry, is yeah, this a question or what is yeah, it's, it's a question. So if Jewish scholars... One more time. One more time. One more time. Thank you. One more time. One more time. <laughs> okay, okay. I had. I have one question for you. It has three co-equal parts, but I assure you that it's just one question. Try to keep it to one. We're trying to get as much as we can. Well, three, three is one. <laughs> Excuse, excuse me, excuse me, miss. You either ask a question, this is not a debate. Yeah, You're not, you are not debating. You either ask a question yeah. or you leave. That's my answer. That's my answer. You either ask a question or you leave. Thank you very much. Okay. To, to be memorized easily, right? I mean, yeah. right, okay. No, no. Please, please settle down. Please settle down. Be respectable. No. Please. There are I'm not guide this way. The book. By, by the way, a little side note as far as mocking Muslims because it's been brought up like a thousand times. I haven't, I haven't, uh, I haven't responded. Um, I mock teachings of Muhammad, right? Like, like dunking flies and drinks and uh, things like that. And if you say that's not what well, I read about mockery in the Muslim sources, right? I mean, when there was a polytheist there, Abu Bakr said, go suck a lot's Close your ears if you're a child. He said, go suck a lot's clitoris to one of the polytheists. They're mocking the beliefs of the polytheists. Over and over again, we find them mocking the beliefs. If mockery is bad, then you've condemned your own God and your own prophet. So, okay, please settle down. Please, please settle down. Please settle down. Please settle down. Seriously, this is not, you guys claim to be Muslims. This is not how Muslims act. This is not how Muslims act. You guys want to represent Islam? We have Brother Muhammad Hijab here. He's done a, a very excellent job. You're basically undoing everything that he has done tonight. Please be respectful. And we're going to end our Q&A session right here. Thank you very much for coming. How dare you? How dare you? What is this? Seriously. Instead of debating all three of us, just debate one of us on the matter of Trinity and Tawheed. That's all we want from you. Not three. You're a brave man. You scared us. Ooh. Because he's, he's, he likes number three of us, <laughs> the Trinity. <laughs> 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 But, but according to him, all three of us are one anyway. <laughs> you took my words. I was going to say that. I was going to say that. I was going to say that. We're not free, but we're one. So we're we're, we're, we're... <laughs> it says, right? The one who is without sin became sin for us. It sounded like going to a drunk guy and just asking him about this. He sounded like he's, he, he. Imagine you go to a drunk guy and be like, explain to me, for example. Um, how, how does the universe, for example, some question, and he starts saying, oh, you know, apples and bananas, and I went home and the microwave exploded, and you're thinking, what the hell are you talking about? And then, and I was walking, I fell down, and there was a blue dog, and you're thinking, what the hell are you talking about? And we don't want to drop to his level yet, but the way he's been, and you can see he's dressed up as a woman, but I don't think it be this you or Robert Rose to debate someone like a dirtbag like him, you know? Yeah, yeah. No, no, I agree. It needs to be well, someone like Hijab, you know, someone yeah. more rag up, because we're not going yeah. there peacefully, like, oh, hello, no, no, no. <laughs> it's, it's, we're not going to do anything it's wrong. It's either that or MMA. We're just going to, he wanted to say no. Crumbs of knowledge, tree really, that you put together to make your own rotten bread, rotten wood. You make your own rotten loaf. 
that your people then consume and become sickened with. So now it's a chance for you. Now it's a chance for you, my boy. That's right, boy. I will come to you, boy. Or you can come to me, boy. Send me the message. I know what you've done. I know what you've done. What you've done is you looked at my YouTube channel and you saw the debate between me and your friend, Jay Smith. And you saw when I intellectually slapped Jay Smith and I think you found that that was going to be a very big problem for you. That this guy... No. And they've been advising Jay Smith and you can see this on the, it's on the record. They've, they've been advising Jay Smith not to debate me for six months. Every week I would come to him <clears throat> and he would reject it. And I'm, I'm pretty much done. I can't believe it. <laughs> Should I give it as a charity to him? I'll give it as a charity to you. Have a minute and a half charity for a Muslim to you. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't know what to say.